What's up guys? This is Zach and Kellen. We're out here in Salt Lake City, Utah at the RBH World Headquarters. We are going to be checking out their manufacturing facilities. This is a made in America speaker company. You don't see this these days. So we're going to take you through the full operating procedure of the entire process. Kellen, give our viewers a little insight into your thoughts so far about RBH and the experience you've had here on site. Small group of people, they really take the time to make sure that they're delivering the level of quality content or product for the customer. Good company all around, making exceptional speakers. This is an R&D company that also sells speakers. I mean, these guys are passionate, guys, and we've seen it through the whole time we've been here. All right, guys, well, let's get into this video. All right, guys, welcome to the RBH factory. I got Doug here, the wood boss, and he is gonna give you guys the lowdown on the processes that they go through here at RBH. Here at RBH, we start with just a four by eight sheet of MDF, get the program on the machine, and then we cut out the speakers out of a four by eight sheet of MDF, and then we go from there to assembling it. From there, we prep it, fill any cracks and holes on it. Then we sand them down and then we take them into the paint booth. We seal them with a base coat, then a top coat. We take them and ship them over to RBH next door and then they package them and build them up. So we're gonna be taking you through some of the key processes that he goes through every single day to meet the RBH quality standard. So here my machine shows me what the, the uh, CNC is about to cut out. It gives me a line of all the vectors that it's about to do. This is my G code that it runs through the G codes. So you can kind of follow that, look at it, tells you which tool it's gonna to pick out. So it goes through the CNC machine and cuts the different pieces that you need to assemble the speaker. Right. And then you take it to this station here where you tape all those pieces together. Yes, then we take the tape off. Okay. And then we sand all the glue off and then we route the corners, all the corners, and then we fill all the seams with wood filler. And then we let that dry, then we come back, sand it again, and do the go through the three grits up to 400. And then from there, it goes over to the paint booth. All right, guys, we're moving right along. As you have seen so far, they use the CNC machine, tape them together. And then from there, they glue all the edges and take it all the way down to a 400 uh, grade sand. And then they prep for prime and paint. And right now, they're gonna give us a little example as to how that's done. This is my dry room that I've made. So after I paint them, I, after the speakers get tack free, I bring them in here and I have a heater, turn on the heat and let them dry inside as they hang. We take them and ship them over to RBH next door and then they package them and build them up. That's what I do. <laughs> it's my shipping. <laughs> awesome, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> All right guys, so we just followed along with the process and delivering it to the next department. Now this is Tony and he's gonna walk us through today what his job here is at RBH. We take the, the cabinet from the wood shop. We line it with whatever sort of sound dampening that each product gets. Depending on what product is, if it's reference or the standard version, we do crossover modifications. Put the woofers in, screw them down. Once you've assembled everything and built all the crossovers, then it is going out for delivery, correct? Yes. When, once we build it, we get it all packaged up and then it gets sent out to Kenny and, and he ships it out. You guys are getting a real walkthrough of how they assemble these products. This is a brand new, super exciting product. This is their 21 inch subwoofer that is all the rage. Now that we got our woofer placed inside this massive enclosure, we're gonna put our outriggers on. And then it's gonna go into quality control. So we're gonna be bringing in our friend Shane Rich to give us some insight into how that procedure is done. All right, guys, we're moving right along with this monster 21 inch sub, giving you guys a little insight into the process that RBH uses here. Tony just finished closing it up. And now we're over here for a testing from our technical director, Shane. So we're testing this 21 inch subwoofer here. Uh, it's going to be going out to a customer 
in the next day or two and just doing some final QC testing. I'm testing the impedance, make sure there's no rubs or buzzes in the driver, that there are no air leaks in the enclosure that would show up on the impedance test. The impedance graph is really nice and and smooth and linear, so everything looks good on that. Lastly, the testing we do on the 21-inch subwoofer is an acoustic power test and a frequency sweep to make sure that we're getting the excursion the driver's capable of and uh, no leaks in the cabinet. We're running it at really relatively high uh, power levels and at large excursions of the driver, we'd be able to hear if there are any leaks in the cabinet, taking it from about 125 hertz on down to eight hertz. And um, after that, I'll do an acoustic measurement with a microphone just to get the frequency response on it. Hear the door rattling there? <laughs> That's 12 hertz. <laughs> Eight hertz. Six hertz and back up. That's 80 hertz. We've taken the uh, sound pressure level uh, measurement that is, again, going to verify that everything is functioning as it should with the frequency response on the woofer. Everything looks great. All right, guys, that is a wrap on our RBH factory tour here at the world headquarters in Salt Lake City, Utah. It has been an absolute pleasure getting to know the team here at RBH. These guys are passionate and it really shows. We've taken you through the full process all the way from cutting the wood, assembling the speakers, paint, driver, and crossover installation all the way through the quality control process Process. Kellen, what are your thoughts on RBH and their processes? Uh, great, great people, great products. It really shows through uh, their attention to detail. Uh, the small group that they have working for them is, is easy to manage. And I think uh, Shane has done a great job with everything that they build here. Uh, extremely excited to have them in our lineup. That's what it's all about, guys. You've seen us on our YouTube channel for years now, constantly on the search, looking for the best of the best gear that we can offer to you to exceed your expectations and deliver a system that is like nothing you've ever experienced before. We're proud to offer RBH here as your nationwide online retailer. In addition to this is gonna be part of our Dream Media Plus program. So high-end home cinema, reference level cinemas, you gotta and stay tuned to the high channel. High-end two channel as well. High-end two channel. There's subs, if you're, if you're just in the market for a sub, their 12s are amazing, they measure amazing. It's a killer brand and we're thrilled to offer it here. If you guys have further questions about RBH or you're considering building your very own dream home theater or two-channel hi-fi setup, reach out today for a free video consultation. We do service the entire nation and would love the opportunity to earn your business. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and be sure to smash that subscribe button down below for more. Till next time, this is Zach and Kellen with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.